The grain size analysis test is performed to determine the percentage of each size of grain that is contained within a soil sample, and the results of the test can be used to produce the grain size distribution curve. This information is used to classify the soil and to predict its behavior. The two methods generally used to find the grain size distribution are sieve analysis which is used for particle sizes larger than 0.075 mm in diameter and hydrometer analysis which is used for particle sizes smaller than 0.075 mm in diameter. Sieve analysis is a method that is used to determine the grain size distribution of soils that are greater than 0.075 mm in diameter. It is usually performed for sand and gravel but cannot be used as the sole method for determining the grain size distribution of finer soil. The sieves used in this method are made of woven wires with square openings. The list of the U.S. standard sieve numbers with their corresponding opening sizes are provided in table. For this test, we have used the sieve sizes of 9.5 mm, 4.75 mm, 2.36 mm, 1.18 mm, 0.600 mm, 0.425 mm, 0.250 mm, 0.150 mm, 0.075 mm, and pan. First, we clean the selected sieves and pans. Then, we measure the empty weight of the sieves and pans. The empty weight of the sieves and pans are shown in this table. Collect a representative sample of the material to be tested. Ensure that the sample is large enough to provide a statistically significant result. If the material is wet, dry it in an oven at a low temperature, around 105 degrees Celsius or 221 degrees Fahrenheit, until it reaches a constant weight. This ensures that the moisture content doesn't affect the results. Arrange the set of standard sieves in descending order of mesh size, with the coarsest sieve at the top and the finest at the bottom. Make sure that each sieve is clean and in good condition. Place the pan containing the sample on the top sieve. Cover the top sieve with a lid to prevent sample loss during shaking. Start the mechanical shaker or sieve shaker and shake the sieves for a specific period of time, usually 5 to 10 minutes. The shaking action should be vigorous but not excessively violent. Shaking of the seeds in process. It is observed that there is no any leakage of soil particles from the seeds during the shaking.
stack one by one. Weigh the material retained on each sieve separately. Record the mass for each sieve and free. Calculate the mass of material passing through each sieve by subtracting M3 from M2 for each sieve. Calculate the percentage passing for each sieve by dividing the mass passing through the sieve by the total mass, M2, and multiplying by 100. Calculate the cumulative percentage passing for each sieve, starting from the top sieve and working downward. The summary of the test results are given in the table. Plotting the particle size distribution curve. Create a particle size distribution curve by plotting the sieve size on the x-axis and the cumulative percentage passing on the y-axis.